Hi, I'm Volka and I develop Kohlrabi Starship, a cozy farming game with space travel. One year ago I quit my job as a research scientist. I had saved enough money for one year of game dev. And that year is now over. It is time to reflect and make some hard decisions. In this video I will talk about financing, marketing and external validation. And by that I mean people actually testing my game. A lot of things happened this year. I made a lot of progress with the game. I joined my local game dev community and met really cool people. I ported from Unity to Godot, which cost me more time than I expected. And I just learned a crazy amount of things. But I need some external signs that this is a good idea to keep working on the game. It would be a huge risk to keep working on a project that turns out to be a complete flop. I'd wait so much money and time. The last few months I could really feel the rising pressure of that. The first part of finding out if my game is any good is obviously to show it to people. So I took my game to a local game testing night where people play each other's games. Before I talk about how that went, let me go on a little bit of a tangent. In game dev you can sometimes hear the term of a vertical slice and how important it is to have a vertical slice of your game as soon as possible. What does this mean? Imagine your game is like a burger. You envision to create the most juicy, tasty, delicious burger that has ever graced the earth. And the different layers of the burger are the components of the game. The salad, that's the farming mechanics. The cheese, a bit of crafting. The pickled cucumbers, exploration and story the meat, the Roman system, the bread that holds everything together, your data and safe system. You get the gist. Now, making this burger will take years. You could decide you start with just creating the horizontal layers, one by one, starting with the perfect bread, then move to the other layers. But you will only ever know if this burger tastes good once you finish everything. And that is a huge risk and time investment. So in comes the vertical slice. You create just a tiny bit of everything. A bit of meat, a bit of cheese and so on. Even though that slice is not filling and not ready to be sold, you already know if you like the taste. And you could use it to show to other people how great your burger is gonna be and to convince them that it's a great idea to support you making the best burger. And this is what is meant by a vertical slice for a game as well. You finish all the mechanics, the farming system, the code for your inventory and so on, but a lot of the content is still missing. There might be just one character instead of 20. And this is my current goal as well. This vertical slice should also contain what is called a gameplay loop. The fun thing that a player repeats again and again. In farming games, that is often you plant seeds, you harvest, you sell the crops and you buy more and better seeds. Or in RPGs, it would be to clear level, get better loot, upgrade your character and then move on to the next, more difficult level. So what did I do to make the mess I had so far playable and move closer to the tasty vertical slice being done? Since my game has a core farming component, to complete the game loop, I added a shop system where you can sell everything and buy some seeds. It's a bit bare bones, but most importantly, it works. Of course, my game has not a complete vertical slice yet. There are still a few systems missing, for example, the space travel. But I had a first game loop, and with that, I went to the testing event and I hoped it wouldn't be a total disaster. I was a little nervous full of stress, but people were really kind and I wrote down many pages of notes and to-dos. I cannot recommend enough for you to show your game to people. And don't show it to friends, show it to strangers if you can. There are things that I wouldn't have noticed myself, for example, that I needed to improve the controls and the font was way too small for everyone. I also make the current game available on my Patreon and a few people from the Kohlrabi Starship Discord community have been playing and sharing their experience and found bugs. Thanks so much. I learned that people like the art and animations and especially the cats. And many people were also mostly motivated by exploring everything there is. 
since it is a small prototype that is still very little and the testing gave me hope that the game can be a success but I'm also still fighting with doubt if the game is actually fun enough. Fortunately, I haven't been working in total isolation. Let's talk a bit about financing and if there's a future for Kurabi Starship now. This past year I got accepted into two mentorships. One came with a grant of around 3,400 US dollars. Ashley, can you imagine? I am so thankful. And the advice I get is super valuable. I also spent way less than I anticipated and this gives me another six months for now. In those six months I will go to GDC. I got another grant that sends me there in San Francisco in March and I'm so excited. I will be part of the Swiss Games delegation and there are a bazillion publishers at GDC and my goal is to talk to as many as I can. Of course with a publishing deal the future for Kurabi Starship would be set but with the current development stage it will not be an easy task. In another video I will tell you all about how that went, about my pitch deck and my finance and project plan, but for now uh, let's focus on the second opportunity that will come up in the next six months. I will be applying for a larger grant that is local to Switzerland that will give me another six months of development. These kind of grants as I just mentioned, are local, but check out your country. There might be grants that apply to you. Both of these opportunities, going to GDC and hopefully getting the grant in March, fingers crossed, are very important right now. And I'm working non-stop to turn them into a success. It is not yet game over for Kurabi Starship. If you want to support Kurabi Starship and play it at some point in the future, wishlist on Steam. Uh, big thanks again to my Patreon supporters. It means so much that you believe in Kurabi Starship. Thank you so much. And lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe to see the next video about me going to GDC. Bye bye.